I hope it's locked. I don't know. Hopefully no one goes in there. Alright, sorry about that. I had a hard time with the lock. It was back there yeah. by the pool. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Mysteriously. Alright. You wanna show me my house? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Hey, I have something for you. I'm gonna put it in the glove box, okay? Yeah, alright. She sounds sad. Whoever that is, can you please give it back? Hey, actually, can you just drop me off the bank real quick? I got fat cash on me. Uh, you actually, know? no, that's okay. Uh, okay. Come into Slice Huh. Well, you know, uh, maybe we'll go to a different bank later. Good idea. Later. Later, Gator. Yeah. So how long did it take you to decorate my room? Or my house, rather? Uh, a few days. Oh my god! That's so long! Well, I didn't work on it a few days non-stop. Oh. Just a couple hours a day. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Yeah. Did you nap in my bed? No. Oh, okay. No, I, I always return home to my own bed. Yeah, that's probably, uh, what normal people do, I guess? Yeah, yeah, that is definitely what normal people do. Yeah, well, I sleep in a broom closet. Why? Because I couldn't sleep at my house. Why not? Because I hadn't seen it decorated yet, and I wanted you to give me a tour. Well, I tried to give you a tour, and you refused. Yeah, I was scared. Why were you scared? I don't know. My house is... My house is always gonna remind me of you. It's okay, so? I guess. You tased me, Nettie. I did. I did, Why? I really did. Uh, I had to get away from you. Why? Because you scared me at that time. How did I scare you? I don't know. I have feelings. I have so many feelings. I have so many thoughts. You have so many feelings and so many I thoughts. Too, Kizzy. Well, maybe you should talk to someone about them. Yeah, all the therapists suck in this town. They're awful, Kizzy. I'm sorry to hear that. That is what it is. So I just talk to myself now. I therapize myself. You therapize? And how is that going? Not so good. I just, you know, I say something and then the, uh, I say the same thing back to myself. So it's not, I don't know, it's not really working. It's like, oh, I feel sad. I feel sad. Sometimes work stresses me out. Sometimes work stresses me out. I'm marrying Jerry Callowell. I'm marrying Jerry Callowell. You You're know, that goes like marrying that. someone? Yeah, what? I am. Can you believe it? Who? Jerry. He's a man, by the way. So you're marrying a man? Yeah. Okay. Why? Well, I don't have much longer to live, and he's willing to marry me. You know, unless you want to marry me. Sure, why not? Wait, what? The big reveal. Oh, I gotta take my glasses off for this. Oh my god. I have a plant. Yeah. I have luggage. Yeah. I have a lamp. Uh-huh. I have overdue bills. Yeah. I 
have a rug for some reason that's wrapped up and put in the corner. It's a yoga mat, Nettie. Oh. Huh. I have a duffel bag for, uh, you know, change of clothes for all that yoga I do. Um. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah, let's what, check out. Are, are you saying you don't do yoga? Uh, well, I don't really only do yoga with you. Oh. Well, I mean, I, c I could, I can take it out if you don't. No, no, it's fine. Do I'll, I'll, I'll just use it when I do you yoga with just... you. Stop! Uh -huh. Did oh. I hurt your feelings? No, I just, you know, I, I put a lot of thought into putting things oh, places, God. and if you don't do yoga, then I obviously thought wrong, and I can just take it away. Kizzy is sensitive tonight. All right, noted. What? Right. No, I'm not. All right, so we got a toilet now. That's good. Yeah, uh, toilets are cool. Yeah, yeah. You, you did, I put elephants. <gasps> you like elephants? I love. I wait. You, did you know I like elephants? Everyone likes elephants. They're smart. They grieve. You're a griever. Elephants are grievers. Yeah, it's true. I am a griever. See, right. they're grieving that elephant that got lost on the other side of the tissue canyon. Oh my god, Kizzy, it's so sad. I'm just kidding. Oh. They put that there to play. Oh. Yeah, see, it's the dad that wanted to leave the family and the mom and the two kids, but the dad's coming back. He's only pretending to leave to make the kids more appreciative of the family union. Wow, that's very specific, Kizzy. Anyway, here's the guest room. Uh, as you can see, I moved that terrible bed in your room into this room. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, it's all that... The uncomfortable one can go here, and no one ever has to use it. Uh, and then you got uh, extra guest towel... Not towels, blankets and pillows um, set up on the thing, just in case they want more, because some people like a lot of pillows and blankets. Uh, and then some books... Uh, and a couple of baskets to store their clothes in if they're staying for a longer period of time and wanna, they don't like living out of a suitcase, so, uh, that's She's pretty so much cute. what this setup is. I love it. You're welcome. Alright, and now your room. My room. The grand reveal, Kizzy. Here it is. Uh, a much more comfortable <sighs> bed, hopefully. Uh, you got another <laughs> plant in here. Uh, chalkboards, which I put up so you could write your poetry on them, or if you want to write, like, motivational lines or something, you can change them daily or whatever it is that will make you happy. You can draw pictures, you know. Kelsey, at this time, I must ask you to leave the room. Okay. Uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, I just wanted to look at the fan really closely. Okay. Uh, did you, did you look in the closet? Mm, this closet? No, the closet in your room. Oh. Ah! Ah! Kissy! What? Uh, don't look at the chalkboard. Ah! I didn't. Okay, thank you. Alright, so uh, I took out the horrible cupboard, cupboard that you hated and put in a little dresser. Uh, you can see that we have the nightstand to match. Uh, we have the tissues next to the bed for your tears, some candy for oh. your sadness, and some fresh squeezed apple juice uh, for your thirst. Um, so much thirst. So then we have um, a notepad in case you don't want to use the chalkboards. So you can write things down in there. Uh, some bongos, because you like bongos. Uh, some sunglasses, because you like sunglasses. Do and, I like uh, bongos? various other things, uh, including a teddy bear whose name is Raspberry Cream. Raspberry Cream, hello! Yeah. Nice to meet you. Is this a and, camera? Uh, yeah, it is. Huh. Uh, and the skull's name is Winston. Hi, Winston. Nice to meet you too. Winston and what, what, what? Raspberry what? Raspberry cream. Raspberry cream. Oh, it reminds me of the song by Tori Amos called Raspberry Swirl. 
Well, you can't change his name. He'll be confused. Raspberry Cream? Mm-hmm. What's this guy's name? Winston. Hi, what's the raspberry cream? I had to write it down. I don't remember. Yeah, no problem. Alright. She's so cute. And we have your dining area here. Um, I got these cute little, uh, bohemian chairs. I don't know if you like them. If you don't, I can change them, but Is this... they're adorable. Sorry, they're go adorable. ahead. Is this table, like, um, mid-century? Sure. Hey, there's flower. Uh oh. Oh god. Yeah, I Sorry. put the little flowers in the corner because uh, they were too big to use as a centerpiece. Mm, yeah, that would be too big. You know, if I ever had friends, I could invite them over to eat, but I must always have negative friends. Well, then we can put the chairs in a closet and you can have negative chairs. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Really good idea, Kizzy. Anyway, here's the kitchen. Uh, you got some muffins, uh, a few groceries I picked up for you. They're probably, luckily, they were non-perishable. Um, the fridge, which I didn't fill, uh, because perishable suck. Uh, some paper towels, a first aid kit, uh, some, like, coffee and stuff and tea. And I love in that coffee. basket up there. Oh, good! Uh, and yeah, we have, drink one right now. uh, fruit and a juicer for all that apple juice for the thirst. Thank you. So much thirst. Look at that's my second coffee. You would like some coffee, cause I have to drink a coffee a lot. No, I'm. I, I'm. You sure I'm you don't good. want coffee? Yeah, I, I'm positive. You sure. Andrei, here's your sink. It's nice and clean. It's real good. And I hope you like it, cause it took a lot to get the sink installed, and I just I need someone to appreciate it, because I, I feel like no one will ever appreciate this sink as much as I do. I will appreciate the sink. Hold on. Uh, I think I'm gonna wash my hands. Should I wash my hands, Kizzy? Yeah, you okay. should. You you definitely should. Uh, 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 that is a um. You see that um. Uh, the hand soap there. Yeah, it's pink. Yeah, yeah it is. It's um. It's a special flavor that took me forever. It's soft rose. I felt like you probably like roses, so I, I, I got like that roses. for you. Uh, and by flavor, I meant scent. Oh, like it's not edible? Yeah, don't eat it. Ah, damn it. It sounded so good. Yeah, no, but soft rose, um, you know, I, you, roses are good. Anyway. Over in the living room, we have the double armrest here. The, the, the a chair sofa. Yeah, so I don't have to touch people if they sit next to me. Exactly! And if you want to get all close and personal, you can share one. <gasps> you'll be really close. Could we... Could two people fit in one of these? Of course. Oh, wow. Huh. You guys can... In case someone wants to, you know, cuddle up and make ah! out. Ah! Uh, ah! We have the... Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. Ah. What's wrong? <laughs> okay, well, we have more tissues for your sadness. Oh, thank you. Um, Cause well, girl gets very, really emotional. Yeah, and I put a guitar over here because I don't know if you play guitar, but someone will, right? I know. C, G, E, D minor. Basically, I think that's a Greece song. Probably, C, yeah. C, 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 A, 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 A minor. Anyway. Uh, and then we have... Wait, what? What is this? She, she was whispering? Ah! Wait, what? Is this poetry? What is this? It's, it's DVDs, Nettie. Oh, shit. It... My eyeballs. Your eyeballs. Yeah, I have what? A, I have a terminal migraine. Uh, that sounds bad. Yeah. Well, I slept for seventy-two hours in the broom closet at Pillbox, and I had no coffee in that time. Um. 
Yeah, you know, these things happen. What can you do? That's fair. Um, then we have some boxes for storage things. Uh, baskets, rather. And little boxes over there. Uh, for storage. Uh, in case you like storage. Uh, and then some books and some magazines. Uh, only, like, two of them are nudies, though, so... <gasps> no, Kissy! I can't have that! I'm just kidding. There's still nudie oh, mags in there. They, there are a couple of tattoo ones, though, and well, let me tell you, it gets close in some of those tattoo magazines. Uh, people who mar their body! Ah! Wow, I have a tattoo. Ah, people who have tattoos! Ah, I admire wow. them and love them. I'm just kidding, I don't have a tattoo. Ah, tattoos! People who mar their bodies! Daddy, what is happening? What do you mean? What, what what are you doing? I'm talking. I'm talking to you, Kizzy. Okay, and then we have um some woman statues up here for the girl power women. thing. Cause it, yeah, women. Uh, uh. We have the dancer. <laughs> uh, the she you know she's strong. She's sporty. She builds up her leg and arm muscles uh, so she can lift and do all sorts of great things. Uh, then we have the mother, people who care for each other and, you know, take care of others. Uh, and then the child, because every person should have the imagination and creativity of a child. And I think, you know, it really embodies you. Uh, the dancer is more like your EMS side, the mother being your loving and caring side, and then the child being your poetry reading side. Uh, and then they're backlit by two torches, um... To show that it is the age of woman. And the sun is rising on our time. I love you. Uh, I love you, Nettie. Okay. And then we have your desk back here. Um, we got some uh, more movies, some more magazines, you have a calendar. Uh, sponsored by the Vanilla Unicorn, because it's the only one I could ah! find. Ah! Boobies! Uh, they're clothes. Look, she's wearing a shirt, uh, bikini. It's fine. I'll just, uh, I'll just move the keyboard over here and, uh, just use, uh, yeah. Yeah, use my computer this way. For sure. Put the keyboard um, on the chair here. And we have a couple of little men statues hidden away in the dark no darkness, like all men should be. Ooh, um, I like that. And, uh, some CDs over here because you like music, and then, uh, yeah. Yeah, I love... Your paperwork and things. Yes, my paperwork. My fan and panther. fiction. Don't forget she's a, a lady panther. Oh, lady panther. Hi. Wait, does this one have a name, Kizzy? Yes. What's this one's name? Raffaella. What? Raf? Uh, I don't know how to spell that. I don't remember how to spell that. That's a... Raffaella? Is that like the plural or um, the feminine of Raphael? Yes. Hold on, I suddenly remember the correct spelling. Raphaelia. Wait, say it again. Raphaela. Raphaela. Ella. Ella. Yeah. Okay. Ella, exactly. Ella, Ella for short. Okay. She prefers her full name though. Okay, yes, I shall always She's call you Raphaela. Very strong, formidable woman. Yep. Mm -hmm. Crouching, ready to pounce, ready to spring into the darkness, quick as a whip. Wow. Wow, yeah. you, you put a lot of thought into this, Gizzy. Yeah, of course I did. Wow, well, thank you. I love my house. Oh, well, you're welcome. And maybe I'll sleep in it someday. Yeah, you know, I'd really appreciate that. You know, it took a lot of work to get the bed in here. Um, I had to put it together myself with my own bare hands. I had to find a wrench and screwdrivers, and I didn't even know where to find those, because William didn't own any wrenches or screwdrivers, and I didn't own any wrenches or screwdrivers. Now we do. 
So what you're saying is... Yeah, I stole some wrenches and screwdrivers from Harmony and had to use them to put together some of your furniture. What you're saying is you're a thief to, to do a good deed, and also, it is a blessing that you had to decorate my house. Because now, yes. you, you own practical tools. Indeed. Yes. Wow. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, I didn't say thank you, I said wow, Kizzy. Isn't it the same? I guess it could be. Yeah, wow. I'm taking your wow as an implied thank you. Thank you. And the next thank you will be the thank you poem, I'm ready. Huh? The thank oh you poem. my I, god! I, I assume that in the weeks that it's taking you to come see this house, you've prepared one, right? Uh, I'll sit and wait. I want to listen to it. Please stand in front of me and recite it to me. Thank you. Mm. Um. Well, uh, it has to be about gratefulness. It has to be a thank you poem. Ah. Uh, shit, I don't know if I have I'm a writing. thank you poem. Uh, what? I, 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 uh, like an original? No, I can't do an original. I, uh, Oh my Yeti, God. What? Are you telling me that after all the hard work I've put into this and the weeks it took you to come see it, you didn't even bother to prepare a thank you poem? Um, yeah, yeah I did. Okay, well, I'm ready. Let's go. Chop, chop. Mm. Oh my God, I don't know what to read her. I don't have anything available. Okay, give me a moment. Uh, a moment? Nettie, I thought it was prepared. <laughs> Um. Oh. Can I? I mean, you know, I probably have poems that. Uh, so are... it's not prepared. You're just no! pulling any random. No, one it's that not. You, uh, you know uh, what, Nettie? We don't have to do this. <laughs> I, I want to do it. Okay, well, I'm waiting. I just, I just, uh, can it be about um sadness? You you want to show your thankful your gratitude to me through sadness? So is that an implication that you don't like the way the house is decorated? All right, I had a poem. I think I love this. Are you ready for this? <sighs> I guess. All right, all right, give me a moment. Do, 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 Showing up here took some guts. Time to rip them out. All right. Mm, I'm nervous, Kizzy. Well, I'm waiting. All right. This poem is titled I Thank You, God, for Most This Amazing. And it is by E.E. E. Cummings. I thank you, God, for most this amazing day. For the leaping, greenly spirits of the trees and the blue. Ah, oh, no red. For a blue, true dream of sky. And for everything which is natural, which is infinite, which is yes. I who have died I'm alive again today and this is the son's birthday this is the birth day of life 
and of love and wings. And of the gay, great happening, illimitably earth. How should tasting, touching, hearing, seeing, breathing any lifted from the know of all nothing human, merely being doubt, unimaginable you? Oh no. Mm. Now the ears of my eyes awake. And now the eyes of my eyes are opened. 